You are still watching the Tourism and Travel Show, and right now I'm with uh, the camp director, Mr. McBride, and he's going to give us more insights about this camp. Mr. McBride, welcome to the show. Thank you very much, Lucia. Thank you. First off, just give me a, bit, a brief background about uh, the McBride camp. Well, we started to build it. Um, a friend of ours located the site. Uh, he's also a major partner. He located the site. And we started building in 2002. My wife started building and she finished it in six and a half months because, as you see, it's built from very simple materials. It's grass, bush poles, although the poles are not from the park. They're from outside the park. Um, thatching, twine and nails. So it's very, very simple. We started building in 2002. So it's been in operation for for about six years? It's been in operation for about six years, yes, that's correct. Now, I realize it's right in the heart of Kashmir National Park. What's the significance about this camp? Well, this is within the park, and um, it's, it's therefore really a wonderfully wild place, you know, because, and also Zawa do a lot of patrolling around here, especially up this beautiful Mushingashi Valley. They started doing that with World Bank help in 2002, and since then, the um, animals, the you know, populations of wild animals have increased, and so has the population of lions. So without those patrols, we wouldn't really be able to run this place well, because most people here come for the lions, because they've written books about lions and that sort of thing. You know, they, mostly they come for the lions. So it's very wild. You cross the river, there are no roads uh, for a very long way. It's just wild country for 200 kilometers at least. There's nothing there. No, nothing human there. So what we are really promoting or you know, selling is wilderness, a wilderness experience. 